DVDs, the only gift that costs millions of dollars to make, but just $30 or less to give. But should you? Let's discuss on this special Beyond the Trailer. It's the holiday season and there's no shortage of DVD gift giving guides online, from Amazon to IMDb to Ain't It Cool News. But are DVDs really a good gift? They're a horrible gift! DVDs don't come from the heart. Yes, they do, Grandma. Picking out a DVD for someone is like making a mixtape. You don't give a mixtape for the holidays either. Mixtapes are for when you want to make out with someone. No, Grandma, no they're not. People don't want DVDs. They want sweaters and socks accompanied by colorful anecdotes. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Do not. Do too. Okay, you know what? Let's just ask everyone if DVDs make a good gift for the holidays. <laughs> Get ready to be wrong. This week on Wii PC TV. How do you feel about um, music? No, how do you feel? How do you feel about music? I love music. <laughs> <laughs> Wii PC TV is brought to you by Asus and Intel. You dream it, Asus builds it, Intel inside. What do you think of DVDs as a gift for the holidays? It's good if it's entertaining and the person likes it. If it's a good movie, then I think they're great, but you really have to know the person. Kind of mediocre because you can steal them off the internet for free and it doesn't take a lot of thought to pick up a DVD. Well, that's a good gift for the little guys. I think it's good. I like them. Do you guys want any DVDs this year? Are you hoping for DVDs? No. No? No, no, because we spent all the money coming here. I'm hoping to get Step Brothers because that's a good movie. I'm hoping for The Dark Knight. Do you think people should go Blu-ray or do you think they should go safe with regular DVDs? I think stay with DVDs right now. It's time. It's time for Blu-ray. Technologies keep on going, so you might as well just get the new stuff. Blu-ray is too expensive. I don't think anyone owns a Blu-ray player, so there's not a lot of point in getting them a Blu-ray. Do you guys have a Blu-ray player? Oh, we're getting one. Yeah, Ooh. my dad can get us one. Oh. One DVD on its own, or should someone package a couple of them together? Well, it depends. Uh, most movies tend to come with one, but if it's like a TV show, um, when they give you a series, I personally like those better. I think one DVD is enough if you get like the one that they really wanted. One is a most appreciating gift. A couple. At least two. Where do you rate DVDs as a gift on a 1 to 10? Uh, I would say about a 7. To be honest, I'll probably leave it around a 6. 5, 6. Oh, 5 or 6? Yeah. What, that high? 9 and a half maybe, because you, you, you can watch them. Like, if you watch them once, and then, like, after a while you haven't seen it in a while, then you can watch it again. Now it's time for some in-house recommendations. WALL-E. Amazing movie. It's heartfelt. It makes you feel good. And the best part is about saving the environment. I have two picks for my favorite holiday DVDs this year. Sex in the City and The Dark Knight, because I need a little action and a little romance. I'd go with Heat, the collector's edition, because there's just a lot of action in it, and it's, it's just a really good movie. Doctor Strange Love, or How I Came to Stop Wearing and Love the Bomb. Stick with the movie in the beginning, because you just will not believe what you're seeing when you get to like the middle and end. Napoleon Dynamite. I've never seen a movie that so inspires me, makes me laugh every time I see it. I've memorized almost the lines of every scene. Napoleon brings out the best in everybody, and the ending is absolutely amazing. And my recommendation is the Alfred Hitchcock Masterpiece Collection. It features 14 top-notch thrillers, including Psycho, The Birds, The Man Who Knew Too Much, The Underrated Shadow of a Doubt, and one of my favorite films of all time, Rear Window. It also has Vertigo, which I respect as a classic, but just don't like very much. Jimmy Stewart plays the worst private detective of all time. He's constantly tailgating Kim Novak. How is that covert? Plus, he faints into a woman's arms, which is kind of uncool. You're crazy! I could watch Jimmy Stewart all day. And with this collection, you could. You've convinced me, Grace. I guess I would like a DVD for the holidays, as long as that's not the only thing I get. Looks like a lot of people feel that way, Grandma. DVDs, the supplemental gift. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays! Subscribe, comment, rate.